All right, welcome back. Uh, previously, we had staged a massive goddamn gunfight at a sawmill, attacked a man with a severe alcohol habit, a man with a severe moustache, and generally just run around being idiots uh, and shooting people, which is always good in the Old West. Uh, we are now moving on to the next level, uh, which I previously completed and then fucked up. This is Gold Rush, or, well, in this case, The Innocent... Uh, uh, episode 3, The Innocents. Uh, first part is The Magnificent One. Um, you might have seen this, of course, when I was doing the arcade level, Gold Rush, uh, so you've got a pretty good idea of what's going on. However, this level does really start to have fun with the concept of un unreliable narrators and the way the levels can change. It also just starts to show good level design by the way I can approach certain situations. So, yeah, um, again, I love that I really am surprised by how much I enjoy this game because you're just getting so much for your money in terms of not just kind of fun gameplay, but a game that feels rewarding to play and feels like it's actually taking time to. I don't know, it feels like effort and care has gone to this game rather than just kind of slap, 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 and that's it, that's the game. Um, it feels like people looked at this and went, oh, they're funny, I've got a brilliant idea, what if we do this? So, um,. I will stop wittering and finally start playing the fucking game uh, with the next level. Let's go. I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Now wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. That man looks dangerously dapper. And yes, I think it's a one. And yeah, it's obviously not an amazing story in terms of like, oh god, all the stakes in play. It's just following one guy's rambling talk in the bar at some point in the, in the future. Um, and yeah, this is an interesting little level, if not only because it shows you that Solus has got shins made out of fucking plaster of Paris and confetti. Let's go. Oh, hit the right button. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. Fuck vultures. And skulls. Just fuck everything, really. Uh, right, and then we start to see a bit more in terms of branching pathways and stuff like that, so it's all nice, it's all fun, and man, they do actually. I mean, it's obviously not seamless, you can tell where it stops being one thing and starts being another, but eh, the whole place looks rather nice. I do like the way they've gone for this very strict out aesthetic. Find the mine entrance. Uh, around there, I see. Ah, easy. This is one way we could have gone. There is actually another path round the other side, um, which does let you into a couple of interesting areas. Well, I say a couple of interesting areas. It basically just shows you a better view of the whole layout, but better view of the whole layout. I could not English if my life fucking depended on it at this point. Good luck. Uh, right. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Oh, hang on a second. Silver shotgun. Always good. Why do I like this gun? Yep. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, the reason I really like the shotgun is because it does explicitly say that it actually um, it's not just a straight power upgrade. It makes it a lot more yeah, versatile. Makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the cojones to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. Ah, uh, besides, George is up there on the rocks with that rifle of his. Nothing gets past him. Oh, to be sure, to be sure, you're absolutely fine. Unless someone were to come up and suddenly mash the poor bastard in the back of the skull. Like so. As my oh, late dear. father pointed out to me more than once, God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. And, oh look, look at those lovely men. Standing around all that dynamite. Well, you know what they say. Fuck him! 
There it is. <laughs> and down we go. Oh, those guys. Those guys went out fast. Whoop. And as you can see, oh, machines. There is actually another path through here, and we could have gone around there as well. So, I mean, it's it's not clearly, you know, massive open world gameplay, but it's nice to have that option should we want it to um, be a bit sneaky. Ah, Rangers. This is more my cup of tea because these things have got the stopping power of a well aimed fucking. Well, I, don't know. I knew that dynamite well wasn't mine, thing. so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. I have nothing it if not a gentleman. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in '48. <laughs> Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. Good line, pissing off ever since lately. There were thieves, killers, robbing travelers, and hijacking gold shipments. Yes, and shooting random people who happened to walk in. Like or those who have killed some people. Whoa, 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 whoa. So whoa, whoa, whoa. regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Whoa, 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 whoa. Would you give it a fucking rest, mate? Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. Whew. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Might as well just go with this, son. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. You're done. Well, if that's the case, then, you know, fuck those guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Come on, where are the rest of you? Where are the rest of you? In fact, you know what? Shotgun time. Fuck this noise. Fuck your face. Those arrests were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Dangerous, desperate individuals. Piss off, would you? If Daddy had lived to see Alfred Nobel's explosive <laughs> invention, my guess is he would have told Samuel Colt to kiss his ass. Oh. Bummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. So I, I was outnumbered and in way over my head. But I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was tough. Or had some kind of death wish. Seeing that there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. That was stunned already. Or gunpowder. Oh, one gunpowder. stray bullet. One stray spark and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did I have any second thoughts about what I was doing? No. <laughs> I was not what you'd I call a I great was some thinker. kind of hero. Uh, you say that. Charge! I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. My double barreled destiny. Oh, yes. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. Well, that was convenient. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. See, it's me. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. You're saying this like it's some kind of bad thing. Um, gentlemen, gentlemen, I have a shotgun and an urge to use it. No, more, more like not brown, really. Um, oh, shit off with you. You're trying to kill me. I don't know how you're not working this out. Besides... Once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Shift! Actually, no, it's a deep shaft. Shift! Yeah, one of those. Right! Guns, 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 guns. Oh, really? A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Whee! <laughs> well, oh, oh, oh god, he went the whole way. That, that's very unfortunate. Um, right, let's go this way. Alright, you little shits. 
to die like this. You say that, you aren't trying to fuck with me, and that's just not a good move in general. Where are you? Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's short enough. There. Well, we're in the mine shaft, so. Ah! I see nuggets. Eh, lovely. I killed myself quite a few times trying to find that one, so. That's me embarrassed. No. Not really. Just. Just. Piece off. How rude. Quick something... reflexes often make up for oh! lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. Oh. Honestly, who throws a minecart? Right, and down here. Oh god, this bit's horrible. Because it's f With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what he's shooting at. I picked the one revolver that can shoot through people. This is not going well. Hello. Oh, Why are you standing on them? That's just not smart at all. Um, anyone there? Anyone? No. Man, yeah, you see the amount of gunpowder? Yeah, one one badly aimed bullet, and suddenly everybody's in all kinds of. Why would I want a sawn off shotgun in this room? You son of a bitch are trying to get me killed. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dead oh, balls. Oh dear. Yep, time to run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I freely admit that my plan of attack is not just moronic, ah. but clearly insane. And getting the fuck out of the car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sucker! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. <laughs> And there we go. Instead, I spotted a ladder. A way into the mine from the opposite side. And there we go! That is... This is one of the best examples I think I've seen, where it just plays out the whole way what the fucked up plan would have been to give you that idea, and then to give you the alternative. Because one, it's giving you more gameplay to play through, which is lovely. And secondarily, it's showing that Silas, as a character, is maturing and becoming a lot more... Not... Intelligent. It was, it was a well. long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. But like more experience, he actually of course, knows. Me and I had a problem with heights. That scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. <sighs> Climbing down that ladder required some caution, because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. You say that. I needed to make a leap of faith. <sighs> Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. A tortured metaphor. I was determined not to give up, however. <clears throat> yeah, that could not have been closer. <laughs> this <laughs> Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the Sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. God, I love this shotgun. What's up, asshole? But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator, or climb the ladder. Huh. Fair enough. Um, ooh, there's a nugget somewhere nearby. Um, it's unlocked, it's on the elevator, so let's go up the ladder. Man, these heavy moral choices I have to make as part of this game is just... What? Oh. Quarter lift! Woo! Oh, I hate myself. Oh man, that's cool. That's fantastic. Um. So that nugget was here somewhere. I was somewhat disappointed. Oh, I can always find it later, it doesn't have to be that right now. 
Oh, no, no, it's somewhere nearby. Oh, you, you shit, get a little munchkin. Damn it, I told you I didn't want you to be here. Oh, God, wait a second. Can I shoot that? No, no, no. Um. <sighs> oh, I'm just. I'm obsessing over this far too much. Come on, let's go, let's go. Bomber let's go. was a mad dog oh. killer. And the people of Nevada City deserve better. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plumber met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right. Well, Gee, well he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> the point oh, was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. This seems fair. And now we go down here and encounter one of the slightly harder bosses, let's be perfectly honest here. Um, this guy's interesting, to say the least. Oh, we're going to need that dynamite and all this ammo. Um, lovely creepy doll music, because why not? Lawman! Outlaw! Scalawag! Henry Plummer! Oh god, yeah, the, um, the dynamite is not fun. Nor is the indestructible cover! And everything else. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, whoa, 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 whoa. and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. Yep, you can fuck off with that. Oh, oh wow, I got in. I got him halfway that quickly. I feel quite proud. No, I don't want it. Fuck off. Yep, you can fuck off at all. God, these are the slowest guns we're loading in. Christendom. Come on. How is this medieval? We're using guns for a start. Medieval would be some, you know, full rudimentary trivia or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Frick, where are you? Camel, where are you? Where are you? Whew, and you can see why I like the shotgun so much. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. Most of the time that blocks it, but sometimes. Oh. On the plus side, I did actually check points me, check it, check points me halfway through the boss fight, which is really, really generous of it. Yep, see how you like it, you asshole. That was a bad move. <laughs> Right, where are you? Come on, come on! You're not quite so fun when I fucking do it, is it? <laughs> oh, that's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were blown up their with his own fucking gold. dynamite. <laughs> and now, I was officially a bounty hunter. Hey! And there we go. That is the gold mine done. And that is another boss fight in the bag. That level ended without a duel, of course. Um, and that's something I don't mind, because I don't like it when a game gets into such repetitive tasks. And the boss fight was nice, um, and I find that those tend to work as a nice cap to a level. But when you come down to suffer, it's just one very particular mechanic, and you've got to complete that, then I have an issue. So it's nice that that's not always the case. Um, but anyway, that was, yep, yeah, just me enjoying this game some more. And I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Ta-ra!